everything he needed, why would he come to Jesus? He knew it wasn't enough. Because he goes and he said, good master, what must I do to be saved? In other words, I don't have salvation. How do he know that? It's something on the inside that the money can't cover up. Some of you have wanted things so bad in your life, praise God. And I, you know what I think sometimes when I watch people and I listen to them and I see what they're going through, I said, they haven't got enough. They haven't got enough. See, you've got to have that desire so that once you attain it, once you attain that, then nobody can tell you. You will realize that, hey, that this is not it. That very thing that you wanted so bad, that thing that would make you turn your back on your family, your friends, your better judgment, and you said, I got to have this, or I got to do that, I just got to do that. You know, it may have been a car. It might have been a woman. It might have been some money. And you desired it, and when you finally got it, you realize, man, there's got to be more life than this. Some of you couldn't wait till you was 21. You say, I want to go in the club. Some of you say, oh, I can't wait till I'm old enough. I won't have to go back to church. Oh, when I get this job, can't nobody tell me nothing. Oh, I got to have that, that Mercedes. I got to get a Mercedes. That's my car. Oh, I need that Lexus when I get that Lexus. Oh, when I get the Cadillac, when I get the Audi. Whatever you may want to get when you get it, the two-story, the three-story, the one-story, the, the, the swimming pool in the backyard. Whatever you desire, when you finally get it, you realize this ain't it. Huh? Some of you say, oh, when I get the Holy Ghost. Oh, when I get the Holy Ghost. Everything gonna be all right. I, I, the gift of speaking in tongues uh, uh, edify me. It's gonna build me up, and I can't wait till I get it. Only realize when you get the Holy Ghost, praise God. Guess what? It says that it is a keeper if you wanna be kept. That's it. That's it. It's a keeper if you wanna be kept. Amen. You you know how to get in touch with the Father. Listen. Some of you praise God. I'm, I'm going to share this just for an example. And I hope she don't mind me sharing it. I remember, praise God, the sister was going through something. She was at the different businesses. And she got to the point where it looked like, okay, we're going to shut the business down. We're going to do this and do that. And she got to praying. And she was just going through, how, how am I going to make it now? What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? And I remember her getting her phone one day. And she began to dial a number. And she called somebody out of her past. And when she called that person out of her past, and she began to relate to them her situation, they opened the door for her. Yes. Listen to what I'm telling you. Yes. I've been around her probably for what, three, maybe four years, maybe five or six years. I don't know how many years, but it was quite a few years working in the same office, going through. And when she called the number, the door opened. All of a sudden, she began to work there. Next thing you know, another door opened through that door, and, and, and then next thing you know, God began to bless her tremendously. And I began to watch how that door opened because she had a number and a memory that was in the past. But to begin to bless her present and begin to take care of her future. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. How many times there are things that we have, but we ain't even tapped into them? Uh -huh. Because you haven't considered the Lord. Yes. You hadn't prayed. But when she began to pray, God opened the door. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Sometimes there are things we say we won't. Uh -huh. But have we really Pray. I, I believe this, and I'm going to share this with the church, because, y'all, 2024 is the time for us to go to work.